Tina Shively spoke with one of the students who witnessed this firsthand and did not even really know what was going on. Let's toss it over to her to see what she had to say. Tina? That's right, Terry. I was one of the first reporters here on the scene just before 2 o'clock this afternoon, and the entire street here behind me was filled with students, many of them on their phones, calling loved ones, calling friends, many of them also on social media, trying to figure out exactly what was going on, many others reading the alerts that the university had sent out about the situation. The first student I talked to was standing in line at a food truck here, right in front of one of the victims who were stabbed. Here's how she described that scene. And I heard a couple people scream, and I, you know, thought it was some joke, and they were just chasing each other. And I turned around, and I, I saw this guy holding a knife. And at first, I didn't even, you know, realize what was going on, because um, he was just walking with like no facial expression, didn't look in a hurry or anything. And he just grabbed this guy that was standing like right there next to me by the shoulder and shoved it into his back. Um, and then I. Like, I, I didn't even realize what was happening because I was so shocked. But then this other guy um, screamed, get out of here, because apparently the guy had already stabbed his friend as, as well. And he was, like, slumped over on a table. And so then I just started running as fast as I could. It, it just didn't even seem real to me at first, like, what was happening. Uh, other than that, I don't know that I was thinking. I mean, I just saw the guy, and it was just... He was just eerily calm, so I almost didn't realize it was an attack happening. You know, I mean, I thought it was some sort of joke that everyone was running away from, and then I saw him push it into the guy's back. A very scary situation for that student, Rachel, only 19 years old and a freshman here at UT. Tonight, talking to students, still of them, a lot of them very confused about what is true and what is not. The chief of police just commenting minutes ago that there are a lot of rumors that have not been confirmed about motive and that the suspect may have been targeting specific groups. We also heard from President Fenvez at that press conference Tony told us about. He said, if you haven't already called your parents, do that to ease their fears. Terry, back to you. Yeah, very important to put everybody kind of at ease here today because.